Hello everyone and welcome. This is a technical overview of this, which is a Hambini short shifter and also an installation guide. Now this short shifter fits Ford Focus ST and RS Mark III vehicles, petrol and diesel. So from a technical perspective, this is the stock Ford short shifter. It is of cast construction. So it is made in a mold and then two final machining operations are carried out one is to drill the hole for the selector shaft and the other is to drill a hole for the pin. And finally, um, this ball end is riveted to the outside. Now, this uh, has built-in sort of inertia weights which form part of the casting. This is the Hambini short shifter. Now, this is of aluminium construction. This main surface here is billet aluminium that's been machined. Um, the counterweights are stainless steel and the reason for that is stainless steel is denser than carbon steel also won't rust and it is designed to give you that OEM shift feeling. The ball end is adjustable so you can adjust from around about 20% reduction to around about 50% reduction depending on which hole you choose and you've got five to pick from. Now the Hambini short shifter comes with removable weights so you can actually remove these stainless steel weights if you prefer not to have them. That will make the shift feel slightly more notchy but it will be faster. So this is the stock shifter that's installed and we're going to use my climate control panel as a datum. So in the forward position the back of the gear lever is about 12 and a half centimetres and it goes all the way back to 23. So for comparison purposes I've got the Hambini short shifter and I've put the ball end in this position which is the one for maximum reduction. So to repeat the process we'll use my climate control uh, panel as a datum point. We've got 15 to the back of the gear lever to 21 so that's a total travel of about 6 centimetres extremely short Now the fitting of this short shifter is fairly straightforward, allow yourself about 10-15 to 15 minutes. Ideally you want the car cold, um, so it's best to do it very early in the morning before you drive anywhere. Now this vehicle is right hand drive but the process is the same whether you have left hand drive. First step is to open the bonnet. Now the gear shifter is beneath the airbox, so we have to get that out and that's the first thing we're going to have to do. So the first thing we're going to have to do is unplug the MAF sensor which is here. That's literally a case of pushing the tab down and pulling it away. Then we need to undo this Jubilee clip. You can use a socket or a flat headed screwdriver. So once the Jubilee clip's loose, we need to pull this flexible hose connector out of the way. Like that. Just so it's separated from the airbox. Now we need to remove these flexible rubber holders so we can get the air box out. So it's literally like that. One's out and the other one is also free. Now there are four 7mm bolts that hold the top of the air box on. One here, one here, one around the back and then one here. We have to remove those with a um, quarter inch socket drive, seven millimeter head, and I put an extension on. Okay. 
Once they're all loose, we have to take the top of the air box off. That should just be a case of pulling. Like so. Now we need to remove the bottom half of the air box. These uh, rubber connectors are, are loose, so all we do is reach down and give the uh, air box a sharp tug. be quite stiff. So you should have something that looks like this. The gear linkage is here. Which is this part here. So that changes the gear. And that's what we're going to have to remove. There's a pin that goes through this hole, through the gearbox selector shaft and out the other side. We need to knock that out. Before we do that, we need to disconnect one of the cable links. So to disconnect the gear link, we just get a flat headed screwdriver, place it underneath the link and pry upwards and it will come off. We need to knock this pin out and the pin can sometimes be stiff so it's a good idea to use some WD-40 and just spray it liberally, liberally around. And leave it for a couple of minutes. So to knock the pin out, we're going to need something that's nominally a 6mm diameter, so I recommend using an M6 bolt. Also a hammer. Now, there's not much room in there to swing, so I'm using quite a heavy hammer. It's three pounds or approximately one and a half kilos. Now to get this going, we'll put the M6 bolt in first and then start hitting. Now, once the pin is clear of the gearbox selector shaft, the gear shifter will actually drop slightly and you can just lift the whole thing out. Now, to illustrate um, how far I knocked the pin out, you can see it's just clear of the hole just protruding into this section but not in the hole. If you do that then there's no chance of you losing the pin in the under tray of the vehicle. Now we're getting ready to install the Hambini short shifter. What I've done is I've started the pin off already before I put it into the vehicle onto the gearbox selector shaft. I've put the uh, ball end in a position that I know that I like. You can actually uh, move that once you've got it in, try it a few times before you put the air, back, air box back on. Now a neat little trick is to put the gear uh, short shifter onto the gearbox selector shaft and then get an M6 bolt and put it into the back hole. I'll see if I can show you that. Like that. And then wiggle it until it slides in like that. Now that acts as a guide. So all we need to do now is knock the pin back in. Once you get to a certain point, you can take the M6 bolt out. Now we just continue to hit the pin back in. Now, when the pin gets fairly close to the body of the short shifter, we have to use something to bridge the gap. So I'm going to use an M6 bolt. Now the pin has gone all the way into the selector shaft and all we have to do now is, well, pick the um, 
ball end position that you want so that's maximum reduction that is minimum reduction and there's uh, all the ones in between once you pick the one you want then you just literally take the uh, cable link and click it on now we have to reassemble the air box and that is the reversal of uh, removing it And now for the top half, I'm taking this filter out first of all to install it. And then pop the top on. We need to screw up these four bolts. Now, if the Jubilee clip um, flexible connector didn't engage when you put the air box back on, put that back on now. And then once you've done that, you need to screw up this Jubilee clip. We need to put the MAF sensor clip back in. So that concludes all of the steps in installing a Hambini short shifter in a Ford Focus ST or RS. Um, if you have any questions or queries, please use the box below. Also hit subscribe to subscribe to my channel. I have got some other videos uh, about turbocharging the Ford Focus, some modifications that I did to the compressor wheel and some other engineered parts. If you uh, have a requirement for more information, I've got a website, it's www.hambini.com and uh, you can find more data and uh, engineering manufacturing drawings and sort of stuff like that on there thank you very much and until next time